Save the pipe for the band contest, Jay. Yeah, yeah, and your dreams, Mikey. Forget it already, would you? Peter! We can't stand the suspense any longer, man. What's the scoop, big guy? Hmm? What are you talking about? What am I talking about? You and Helen, you guys have been going up for eons now. So uh, how about a progress report, hmm? Hmm? We're in a locker room, man. We're supposed to be doing this stuff for bonding purposes. Mike, Mike, Mike. Um, I know this is difficult for your dirty little mind to grasp, but it is possible for two people to choose not to jump in the bed at the first opportunity. Okay. You're kidding. <laughs> what? I mean, it's, it's okay with you to go without it? Well, I hate to deprive you of a cheap thrill, but isn't that kind of my business? Yeah, but to go without it, man, for what, like weeks, months here? What are we talking to you, huh? <laughs> you ought to talk, huh? You've been one out for 17 years. Cheap shots. Well, don't worry, man. You'll find the right girl or the, uh, the right guy. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, come on. We're liberal here. <laughs> hey, Marky, man, don't sweat it, all right? Everyone's a virgin once. Except me. Yeah, Jay, do me a favor, okay? Take a hike. I got your note, so what's up? Well, it's just, um, I've been thinking, and I think it's time to talk. So let's talk. Not with me, with Nicole. I mean, we used to be friends, good friends. And then she tried to make a move on my boyfriend? But if you only talk to each other, David, this is between me and Nicole. Um, you said you wanted to see me? Yes, um, I just wanted to say, have a nice weekend. Hey, Michael. Sheena, hey. So, have you uh, started that biology project yet? Uh, no, no, not yet. Oh, well, uh, I was just going down to the lab and uh, I thought maybe you, uh... Forget it. Good taste, man. What do you mean? <laughs> like Sheena, queen of the no-tell motel? Like you believe all that stuff about it? Well, don't ask me. Ask the football team. So, uh, are you and Peter going out tonight? Probably. Why? Uh, oh, I just wondered. I thought maybe if you weren't doing anything, you and I could go out for a movie or something. Mm. Look, I really liked Peter, and Peter liked me. Only, he liked you better. But that's okay. I never wanted to come between you two. Well, I can't exactly blame you for liking him, can I? Just similar taste, I guess. I really hope you two work out. You're really great together. I mean that. Thanks. I'll tell you what. If I ever break up with him, he'll be the first to know. Hey. I thought you had that meeting with the police after school. I do. I'm just not ready for it, I guess. Jen, you've taken the first step by telling them what happened. You're doing the right thing. Oh, I hope so. Do you need a ride to the police station? No. Well, my mom thought it'd be easier if we talked at home. Well, what about your dad? He'll still be at the nursery. I haven't told him yet. I just can't deal with him on top of all of this legal stuff, you know? Yeah. So are they gonna arrest him? I don't know yet. But from what they've told me so far, this is only the beginning. Don't worry. Uh, so, uh, so how long are you staying around for? An hour or so, I guess. Uh, you calling it quits? 
Well, no, no, actually, I, I was just wondering if, uh, well, I guess you have plans for later on, huh? Only kind of. Yeah? Uh, well, see, I was just wondering if, well, you know, I, I know this seems kind of sudden and everything, but I, I'm not doing anything either, and I was just wondering if you'd like to... You'd like to do something together? Well, yeah, uh, yeah, sure, okay, yeah. I'd take care of those. Father said I had bronchitis and I'm broken heart. <laughs> said you should rest. Don't be smart to ask. I can, I can look after that. Or you go lie down or I'm going to knock you down. Okay, so one lousy cigarette. Big, hairy deal. Where's the pack? <laughs> the doctor said there was no cancer. <laughs> so what are you going to do? You're just going to keep smoking until you get sick? Okay, mister, you don't know what's good for you. I don't see you giving up the weed. I'm not the one hacking my guts out every morning, either. So you're just gonna keep smoking until you get sick, is that it? Okay, I'll make you a deal. You quit smoking, I'll quit smoking. We don't have enough money anyway, so... Sure. The minute you get out the door, you'll start smoking like a chimney. Okay. Where's your smoke? all over for you. Listen, you need your card tonight? Well, uh, yeah, I was... Great, cuz I need that. Why? Well, cuz the big guy has a hot date tonight. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You guys are beautiful. So I'll see you girls later, okay? Did he say date? He said date. I know this is difficult for you, Jennifer, but we need to be very clear in the details. Now, you say he ripped your dress? Yeah, that's right. And where's the dress now? I took it to school. I ripped it up and threw it in the garbage. Did he harm you in any physical way? Bruises, scratches? I had one small bruise in my wrist and I had one in my arm. But they're gone now. And did you see a doctor after the attack? No. So basically what we're looking at here is your word against his. I never asked to be raped. It's all right. Nobody's doubting you. But it doesn't look very good, does it? Well, from a police perspective, we have no solid physical evidence of the attack. Our case is weakened considerably, but that doesn't mean that we won't proceed anyway. What happens next? We'll pay this Timothy Eckert a visit and get his side of the story. Uh, once we've filed our report with Crown Counsel, it's up to them to determine whether uh, charges will be laid against him. We've told you what happened. Can't you just lock him up? I'm afraid not. If charged, he'll be booked and released. A date will be set for him to enter a plea in provincial court. Well, how long will that take? There's always a backlog. Could be a matter of months. If this goes to trial, you're looking at this thing dragging out maybe six, eight months, maybe a year. So what's to stop him from coming after me after you lay charges? Us. If he so much as threatens you, we will be all over him. I know all of this is incredibly stressful. We like to recommend this support group. It's quite effective in helping women deal with all aspects of sexual assault. Oh, Jennifer, are you sure you want to go through with this? I mean, maybe we should... No, Mom, if I let him get away with this, he's going to do the same thing to any girl that's stupid enough to trust him. told me to come at 8. I can come back tomorrow. Just stick around. Shouldn't be too long. Ah, uh, that's 
$7.50. For two hot dogs? I'm really not that hungry. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. There you go. 50. So, uh, anyway, Cap and Destroy were actually good friends there for a while. You know, tag team partners and everything. Uh, but uh, um, they had this huge... <laughs> He had this huge blowout because uh, the destroyer thought that Cap was making the moves on his girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, that was totally untrue because Cap just isn't that kind of guy. You know, but even... Uh, listen, you're not really getting off on all this, are you? Oh, well, not really. It's fine. No, I, I mean, you don't have to stay for the rest of the card. If, if you don't want to, we could go somewhere else if you want. Like where? Uh, well, uh, we do have a car. So? I got it. Yeah? Yeah. Well, let's see it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, hi, sunshine. Isn't it past your bedtime, babe? <laughs> you and I got to talk. OK? What's up? Bill's got me doing errands for him, making deliveries and picking up coke. Yeah, so what? To Chinatown. When I was there the other day, I saw you with a guy. You mean you saw me hooking? How could you do that? How else do you expect me to support my hobby, huh? Teach Sunday school? But you dance at the Maple Leaf. We all dance, OK? Standing up, lying down. After a while, you don't notice the difference. Sorry if I disappointed you. So what's wrong with your car this time? Nothing. I lent it to Michael. You let him have your precious wheels? Must be quite an emergency. Yeah, sort of. He's got a hot date. Michael? Yeah, with Sheena Ellis. Well, what's so funny about that? Well, I guess Michael's out to cure his virginity. What's that supposed to mean? What, are you kidding? Sure thing, Sheena? She went to a party last year and practically slammed half the defensive backfield. How do you know? You weren't there. Oh, no, but, I mean, everybody was talking about it. <sighs> you jerks. What did I do? Nothing. It's the attitude. Michael goes out with someone he doesn't even like just because he thinks he might get laid? Well, maybe he does like her. Well, then why is he using her? <laughs> what, does he figure he can just go out and spend 20 bucks on her and then she'll lie down? And God, this is precisely the attitude that got Jennifer raped. What? Jennifer? Look, Jason, I promised her I wouldn't tell anyone. Don't tell anybody, okay? What happened? Just promise me you won't tell anyone, please. Sure is beautiful up here. That's why I come up here a lot. Um, to think. Seems like a good spot for thinking. I just wanted to tell you that uh, I'm having a really good time. Michael, <laughs> slow down. I mean, you know, we don't even know each other yet. Don't you think we should at least find out whether we like each other? <laughs> yeah, but I like you a lot. And I mean that. <laughs> yeah. Right. And uh, I've well, I've always thought that you were really attractive. <laughs> okay, what? What? What's the deal here? You don't like me? It's not like that. <laughs> what? What? You don't find me attractive or something? I don't know. I mean, can't you just give me some time, Michael? Hey, too bad I'm not a football player, right? I'd like you to take me home now, please. No, 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 see, see, when, when I say, you know, I didn't mean to say that. I just meant that, uh... Can you start the car now? <laughs> start the car. <laughs> this no. is... Uh... It's not my fault. See, no, this isn't. This isn't my car. This isn't. This. Is, wait a sec. Wait. Uh. Man, I'm gonna be dreaming about killer cheeseburgers chasing me tonight. I must have cooked about a hundred of them. 
guess uh, Jennifer never made it in for a shift, huh? Are you kidding me? Little Miss, I work when I feel like it. You know, I'm getting about ready to tell Betty how much she's been sloughing off. You know, Brian, you should maybe cut her some slack, you know? Why should I? She's never here. Maybe she's got her reasons. <laughs> yeah, right, like, like, uh, hanging out with Tim, the Wonder Boy? Look, just lay off her, all right? Maybe she's going through a bunch of stuff that neither of us know anything about. Wait, like what? Just lay off, all right? Hey, wait a second. But Jennifer's my friend, too. It sounds to me like you know something that I don't. Now, what is it? Look, I heard from Marie, okay? She's not even supposed to know anything about it. Okay, well, is there hassles with their parents? What? No, it's nothing like that. Did Tim dump her or something? What? No. He raped her. Yeah, it's the carburetor. Then why are you pulling on the distributor cap? <laughs> These uh, damn foreign cars, they, uh... Well, what about the gas? Oh, come on, I'm not that stupid. What about the gas? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, well, stupidity happens. You've never done it before, right? Done what, run out of gas? You know what I mean. Oh, what? What, does it show on my face, or did you just get the press release? <laughs> so, like, is that why you asked me out? Because I'm supposed to be some kind of slut? <laughs> I mean, I know what people say. But one night, man, I, I'd just broken up with my boyfriend. I got drunk and I got stupid. One night. You know what my girlfriend said when I told her I was going out with you? She said, why would you want to go out with a guy who's gay? What? She didn't say gay, she said queer. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, that, that's, a, that's a lie, I'm, I'm not. See how it feels? For what it's worth, I told her I didn't think you were, but you believed what you heard about me, didn't you? I don't know, I, I didn't know you. Jeez, so what are we supposed to do now, huh? Excuse me. <laughs> well, we could uh, push the car back to the highway and roll it downhill to a gas station. Uh, okay. Uh, get the hood, okay? I'll <laughs> okay. The wheel around. Hi, Bri. How's it going? Jen, what are you doing here? Uh, I just thought it was about time to drop by to give you a hand. Is there is something wrong? <laughs> Look, um, Jen, um, I'm sorry it was so rough on you. I don't know what to say, I'm just... I'm really sorry. Maria told you, didn't she? No, Jason did, but Jen, Jen, listen! Jen! Jen! Stay strong women. <laughs> <laughs> you know, tonight's turned out a whole lot better than I thought it would. It's all downhill from here. Come on, let's go. Ready? Thanks for stopping by, officers. You're here. Good. What did they want? Just a friendly little chat. I suppose you thought they were after you. Me? What for? Well, with a shoplifting charge hanging over your head, you can't be too careful. Espresso? How did you know about that? Let's just say, I have my sources. It wouldn't do you any good if the authorities found out what kind of company you were keeping, would it? If 
you busted me, I'd just turn right around and tell them about you. <laughs> that would prove very hazardous to your health, Karen. Not to mention your brother Peter. What about your parents, Mats and Valerie? How is the Swedish Crystal business doing these days anyway? What do you want from me? The money you owe me would be nice for a start. It's less than a hundred dollars there. It's the best I could do. Well, we're gonna have to work something out, won't we? Hi, kids. Hi, Michael. Helen, um, just go on in. I'll just be a sec, okay? Okay. okay. So, Mike. Where's Sheena? I just took her home. Ooh, crash and burn, huh? Well, I mean, if the date's over at quarter to ten, either it was a total disaster, or you move awfully fast, huh? <laughs> so come on, what happened? Well, Pete, I hate to deprive you of a cheap thrill, but isn't that kind of my business? Maria. Hi. A little late, isn't it? Yeah, can I just talk to Jen for a couple minutes? Sure. Hi, I know it's late, but I just had to come by. I asked you not to tell anybody. And you promised that you wouldn't. Now, everybody knows. Jen, 